Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this premium uh, tutorial, we're going to talk about creating a tensile structure based on a curve and a line, which is going to define the location of the column. As you can see here, if I change the location of this uh, line points, it's going to update. We can change the extension of the column and also the radius, obviously, uh, the number of cables just for preview and visualization at the top. And also uh, the mesh count is going to affect the final result. So if I decrease it, you can see it's going to be something like this. And if I increase it, I will have something like that. Uh, another thing we can control here is a polyline. For example, if I draw a polyline from the top and give that to the roof boundary, As you can see here, it's going to create the final results. And by changing the points, this is also going to update. So it's really easy to use. You can use that to create a tensile roof based on a curve boundary and a line, which is going to define the column. And uh, an offset is going to control the down uh, part for the floor. Nothing important, just thickness here. The radius is the radius of uh, the circle up here, I can make it smaller if I want to. Okay. Like this. And uh, there is a base concrete down here, which we can control the radius and height. And for example, we can bake that here. I've uh, defined all of the outputs here. As you can see here, we can, for example, have the tensile mesh as an output. Get it here. Or the simple facade is just like a simple extrusion, so you can also have that. And bake each of these layers into different outputs and create the final results. Okay, let's get started from scratch and learn this step by step.